But what's up guys, Sister the Theater, welcome back to the Unimpeatable series, as you will say, keep going, going with the character until I lose. But before we get started, there's something very, very important that I have to uh, talk to you guys about. So, for those of you who have been following the Unimpeatable series and like me as a person, and they started there, you are so nice and things, I really do appreciate all that stuff. But there's one more thing I have to ask of you. So, uh, a lot of you already do this, but for those of you who don't, if you have a Twitter account, go in the description. It's always in all of my descriptions, but go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do in the future that really involves uh, social media uh, when it comes to Smash Bros and videos and stuff. And I just want to interact with you guys because you guys are really, really cool. Uh, so, if you guys get to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, that'd be pretty awesome. If you don't have a Twitter, then that's unfortunate. Uh make one because Twitter is kind of cool. Anyway, so today we're going to continue on with Rosalina. Uh, it's going to be really, really fun because I, I'm really warmed up and uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun this episode. Again, I already feel it that we're going to uh, uh, have an extremely good episode. So let's see. We have Samus. All right. So hopefully this is a really good Samus from Scott389. Uh, okay. All right. Already I'm noticing a little bit of rolling. Okay. So, a lot of you guys have asked me some questions. Uh, I actually asked the guys... Oh. There's some of you who uh, follow me on Twitter. I asked you guys to uh, give me some questions to answer while on this Undefeatable. One of the questions was Nair. Um, Rosalina's Nair, it's pretty freaking amazing. And really, everyone asks me, how do you use it? Um, well, usually I use it for spacing, and I use it as a semi-approaching option, and I also use it as an anti-approaching option too, because if I'm going down to the air like that with Nair, uh, there's so many active frames in there, uh, and barely any landing lag, so that if somebody comes towards you, uh, it's not really going to amount to much most of the time, unless they run up shield, a uh, perfect shield, because it's really hard to punish it, because it only has, I think, five frames of uh, ending lag. It's either five or uh, five or ten. It's a really small amount of landing lag on Nair. Uh, or seven, something a really, really small like that. So um, it's really hard to punish, and it's a really, really viable tool for Rogelina. So use it often, like how I am. Don't just like use it, use it just because, but try to space with it. Notice how I, if I see an air dodge or something, I'll go for it, or if I'm approaching somebody, I'll try to go for it. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I really get those. Usually Rosalina interrupts that with her uh, up there. It just takes immaculate spacing to get Lumas. Well, it really takes some really excellent spacing to only get Lumas up there. Like, you could actually do that on Will, you know, uh, get Lumas up there at the high blast zones like that and really get those early kills. It's extremely hard to do though, and you have to have like perfect spacing because there is a little small part where Rosalina doesn't hit and Lumas does, and Lumas doesn't knock the opponent into Rosalina. So, um, I also think that if they DI away from Luma's hit, that's a better option. Because if they DI, no, no, if they DI towards Rosalina hit, towards Rosalina's hits, it's better off. Because if they DI away from Luma's hit, that means they'll probably get not hit by Rosalina's, and that'll likely mean they die because of how Luma's up air has an extreme amount of knockback. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're ever caught in an up air situation, try to go towards Rosalina. Uh, and not away from her. Uh, if you know you're gonna get up there, don't just do it. Just like, oh, I know I'm gonna get up. Like, if you, if you think you can get away from it, try to. But if you're certain you're gonna get hit, try to go towards Rosalina, um, so that you get hit by her ring too. Oh, nice still run in the wrong direction. Okay, I see. So we have a Robin, G-Man's Robin. One thing I gotta do is. Uh, Oh my god, whoa. That has a lot of smash attacks. With smash attacks, too. Also, notice I'm waiting for air dodges. Makes it a lot easier to uh, get combos when, uh. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to get a lot of damage off of that when you wait for air dodges. Um. Usually people will air dodge or they'll attack. And unless they're like a, another Rosalina, it's kind of hard to punish Rosalina from up air strength, even if she whips one, so. Air dodge? Yeah. See, see how kind of like, you just gotta wait. 
Uh, when it's guaranteed a lower percent, just do it. But at higher percent, try to wait for air dodges. It makes it a lot easier for the. Oh my god, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. All right. I got scared for a moment. I thought that was the counter because of how the sound was. You you are going for a lot of smash attacks. Like I don't know why either. Hit by that. Okay. This is another thing I've been working on. I figured that if they designed Rosalina like this, then they probably designed her like this for a reason. And I feel that nobody using uh. Luma shot is really untapped potential. Oh. Luma, thank you. kind of careless on that one yeah you i'm sorry that made it a lot easier to wow <laughs> i don't know why he did that in the opposite direction i feel that was really reckless oh wow that was dangerous try not to do those kind of things especially okay a lot of you oh some of you ask me how you go against rosalina okay so let me tell you what i hate when i'm a rosalina and i'm going in a matchup okay so i hate it when people end up behind me ending up behind me personally is annoying as hell because the only way I can get you is if I stop my jab spacing and I turn around and get you or if I down smash. So crossing up Rosalina I feel is a really really good way to uh, really mess her up. Uh, and so try that out. Try crossing her out. Obviously try getting rid of Ruma but don't be stupid with it. Did I call him Luma? Ugh, yep see I hate that. That's the worst thing and I need to, I need to work on that actually. Okay, Jigs, what are you doing? Luma, help me. Thank you. Yeah, what is this? Uh, yeah, actually... Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, I'm playing bad. <laughs> Ashley, I'll just ask this spill on you. I turned my teacher into a spoon. Sounds up in my spells, and yes, it's true. Well, I don't have as many friends as you, but I could be nice, and maybe we could be friends. And if you say, oh, oh you're toast. <laughs> I, I can't do the imposition of the saxophone. Who's the girl next door living in the haunted mansion? You better learn my name, cause it's Ashley. Just remember this when you see her on the street. I'm the coolest girl you'll ever meet. Oh, I'm the coolest girl you'll ever meet. Well, I'm the coolest girl you'll ever meet. Wow, that was a perfectly timed forward smash to end the song. Wow. Why can't Rosalina have that particular freaking voice in every single game that she is? Why does she have to change the voices like two million times out of everyone? Mario's kept the same voice for like 80 years. And then Rosalina has to get hers changed every 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. I just want her to have that voice. <laughs> Anyway. Alright! Like, <laughs> who, who just, what? Alright! <laughs> Alright. 
Yuck, black Rosalina. Yuck, nasty. Yuck, so overused. Yuck, everyone uses this one. Yuck, common. Yuck, nasty. Yuck, generic. Yuck. Well, boost grab didn't help me there, huh? Well, hi, bitch. Okay. Okay, so you're air dodging me. I see. Because you guys didn't know, uh, Rosalina's up smash is invincible. So if you want to go for some of those while somebody's coming down at you with an attack, then go right ahead. It's kind of hard to come down at Rosalina. Oh, yeah, it's kind of hard to come down at Rosalina with anything unless it's like super duper fast, like uh, Sheik's down air or something. Bitch. Yeah, I gotta start chomping here, actually. Oh, excuse me? Luma! Yeah, I'll start doing that now. Dangerous. I wouldn't have done it twice. Yeah, don't really... You don't want to be above Rosalina. If you're going against her, don't be above her. It makes it a lot harder for you. Like, it really does. What the fuck was that? That bitch fucking shooting star across the fucking sky. I literally thought that was like a background thing. I did not need to roll into that. Oops. Luma, help me out. Help me out, help me out, help me out. Thank you. That's what we call thirsty. That's what that's what we call deprived of hy hydrogen plus oxygen water. That's what we call thirsty. Okay. <laughs> she, he was, oh, what was that? She was so thirsty to get that punish on that berry right then. That she literally down there, thinking that she was going to down there in my direction, but she down out off the stage because she wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. That is what you call thirsty, alright? You gotta pay attention to those kind of things. I would have never- oh no. One on one. How do you just do that? What? That's terrible. I'm sorry, what? She down it off the stage to quickly come down to get the punish. Why wouldn't you make sure you're in the looking in the right direction first though? Hello? Okay. Anyway. So, we have Gabble Jr. Is there a mole on the, off of his face? Ew, what? What is that mutation? Ugh. All right, we got Pac-Man. All right. Uh-oh, it's Apex all over. Oh, uh, why do people have to? Oh, my God. What the fuck is this? Oh, my God. Can you, please be, can you be one of those people who lags, and because you know you lag, you oh, my God, there's so much input lag, it's not even funny. I'll see how this is gonna work. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh my god. Okay, can we, can we, um... No, stop this. Give me that. Thank you. Yummy. Mm. Yo, this lag isn't helping <laughs> at all. Yo, that's not, yeah, that's not advantageous at all. Um... Okay. Um... This Pac-Man is... going for too many side Bs, which is horrifying. Um... So, if you're a Pac-Man, don't do that. Don't go for those. They're really threat- uh, they're not- they're just- they're just still punishable. Oh god, this lag is so, like, impossible. 
see, I couldn't even punish that. Like, I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't, I was gonna be a forward smash, but it registered as a jab for whatever reason. I have to find somebody immediately after this one. Oh my god, I hate matches like this because they seem so wasteful. This is just, this is just, this is just, oh man, I have to find somebody else, like, now. Okay. <laughs> uh. I can't think it was a GG because it was laggy, so. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. Alright, let's find somebody else. Yeah, uh, Pac-Man side B in neutral is horrifying. Don't do it. Use it only as a recovery measure or use it for, like, a mix-up, but even then, like, <laughs> The only time you should do it while in neutral is if you're doing a U-turn. Uh, if you don't know what a Pac-Man U-turn is, then you should definitely look that up, because it is a really, really cool tech for Pac-Man users. Speaking of Pac-Man, you guys have been wanting some of them. I don't know, I just hadn't used them such a long period of time, and because of that, whenever I try to play him now, he feels janky, and it gets on my nerves, so... Um, I can try, though. I'll give an, I'll give an effort to get some Pac-Man. Alright, so we got Falcon. Of course we do. If you guys follow me on Twitter, then you know how I feel about this. About the two million falcons that you see every day on Free Word. La 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 I wish that was a better move. Like seriously, this Falcon is going for far too many grabs, and he's whiffing them, and it's just not good because I'm not even shielding half the time. So I don't know why he's trying to go for so many grabs when I'm clearly attacking all the time. See, like, look at that. That's not good. Da -la 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 -la. The reason why I'm not really going too into the ledge is because I don't want him to Falcon kick me. Because uh, that'll really hurt up. That'll hurt Boomer really badly. Uh, more than likely, we'll uh, shoot him off the stage. So you don't want to just rush in there. And what are you doing? Oh, let's do that toes. Oh, pose. Oh, oh, oh. La la la. No, there's lag now. Trump. 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 Oh, dangerous there. Oh, I got the bad hitbox on that. Whatever. Oh, God. Audience, can you help me with this? Like, oh, God. That was the worst need, by the way. Um, uh, that was kind of bad. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought so. Actually, I just want to see something. Yeah, I want to see something. Yeah, he almost did, I know. Watch the flow of That's what we call a choke. If you look in the dictionary, um, that is what we call... Uh, yes, a, a choke. I know he could have fucking down to me, that's why I went for an up air, because it would have clashed, I know. <laughs> hmm... Should we stay again? It was slightly laggy, and it is 20 minutes. Hmm. 
Well, why not? Let's do blue this time. Let's see, anything else I can help you guys with? Uh, hmm, the neutral airs, the edge guarding. I told you guys you should only edge guard characters that uh, have predictable recoveries, like Ness is really good at edge guard. Uh, going against Rosalina, try to cross her up, I then get rid of Luma, makes it a lot easier. She has a lot of hurt, hurt box too, so it's kind of easy to combo her. Um, sorry, I know. Well, whatever. It, it, it was there, I had to. Too many Nesses do that. Too many Nesses with that grab when they should be doing it for something else. Like, I don't know why, but if I were a Ness user, I would be faring instead of trying to go for a grab. Like, I would definitely be going for a forward air right the fuck there because everybody always jumps out of it. Like, I'm telling you, like, if there's if that's happening to me, I will jump away from it all the time. Consistently. And I don't know why Nesses don't go for forward airs on that time. Like, that's just the perfect time. I love Luma. Like, seriously. Have you been noticing the increase of use of, uh, details? Yeah. Really, really cool move. Anyway, this has been Sid III. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're so beautiful when you do that shit. Like, you're, you're literally just the most beautiful woman on the place of the planet, on the face of the planet, when you just throw that beautiful little star and you just, it just spins around you. You just look so gorgeous. Like, who, who, who looks like that? Who looks good like that? Nobody. No, nobody. No one is that, is that elegant. No one can pull off this dress. Nobody. No, she's just too cool. She's really just cool. I, I just really hate how large she is. That is the one thing that really irritates me about Rosalina. Like, why did they purposely design her to be fucking gigantic? Like, what? That makes no sense. Anyway, uh, this has been Sir Third. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the Undefeatable series, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have a Twitter account, please follow me. I'd be really, really awesome if you could. Uh, hang out there. Uh, talk about things. I post a lot of funny stuff and I post a lot of serious stuff too. So uh, it's a really cool Twitter account. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and follow that. Also, uh, if you have any sis for Rosalina, go ahead and let me know. I'm not the best Rosalina ever, so there is still things I can learn from you. Also, if you liked the video, please leave a like, a like rating. It'd be very, very helpful if you did. Uh, the likes have been increasing exponentially ever since I started this, and I really, really do appreciate it. But uh, we can always go higher, right? Always aim higher. Always aim for the stars. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.